I want to do something with my life. You know, I want, when my time here is up, I don't want to look back and see that I didn't do anything. I see a lot of people that let their life happen to them and I want to happen to my life. The world of Hollywood has been shook by the passing of Luke Perry, with many sharing their condolences. Wrestler King Kong Bundy, he also passed away, as well as half of the band The Prodigy, singer-songwriter Keith Flint, he sadly took his own life. Now these three deaths, they all took place on the exact same day, which was March 4th, uh, and it took place obviously in different parts of the world. Keith, he was at his home in Essex, England. Luke Perry, he was in his Los Angeles home. And King Kong Bundy, he died in New Jersey. Now these three men, they all contributed to the world of entertainment in different genres. And in this video, we're gonna try and pay each of them their respects. Now these videos we make as tributes, um, you know, it's a really set, they've all touched me in some way, shape or form. Luke Perry, massive fan of 90210. My sister more than me, my brother, he was just wrestling obsessed. So we would dress up as these guys. And uh, Prodigy was actually, I'm a huge fan. I would go to their shows. Invaders Must Die was like my favorite CD of 2009. Anyway, uh, let, 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 well, this is obviously different. Usually. I I do famous news on the main channel. My name is Michael Bukrat and we're gonna try something different. We're putting this on the second channel. Uh, please leave the comments down below as a way to share your condolences or memories of these stars. And uh, let's get into it. Actor Luke Perry of 90210 in Riverdale fame. Well, he passed away at the age of 52 after suffering a stroke. Now he was surrounded by friends and family, including his two children. Now the man was such a pop icon, he even appeared in an episode of The Simpsons. That's when you knew in the 90s that you had truly made it. I didn't know you knew Luke Perry. <laughs> no, I'm... He's my worthless half-brother. He's a big TV star. Yeah, on Fox. Now, at the time of his passing, Luke, he was busy working on Riverdale in the role of Fred Andrews. He'd also completed work on the Hollywood blockbuster, which is yet to be released, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Here he was working with the likes of Brad Pitt, Quentin Tarantino, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Now Leo, he took to Twitter to share his condolences. He wrote, Luke Perry was a kind-hearted and incredibly talented artist. It was an honor to be able to work with him. My thoughts and prayers go out to him and his loved ones. Now all facets of Hollywood, they shared their grief and condolences. His 90210 co-star Ian Ziering, he tweeted out, Dearest Luke, I will forever bask in the loving memories we've shared over the last 30 years. May your journey forward be enriched by the magnificent souls who have passed before you, just like you have done here for those you leave behind. Molly Ringwald, she tweeted, my heart is broken. I will miss you so much, Luke Perry. Sending all my love to your family, hashtag Luke Perry. And the Riverdale Writers Room, they wrote, Luke Perry, you were a joyful and vibrant soul. You will be missed, but most certainly your legacy will be remembered forever. Rest in love and peace, friend, hashtag Riverdale. Another touching story I found online was Colin Hanks, son of Tom Hanks. He shared a delightful story of meeting Luke Perry while on a flight, and there was a kid like screaming his brains out, and Luke Perry came out with a, with a balloon uh, from his pocket. He like turned it into an animal, he gave it to the kid. All of a sudden the kid stopped crying, everyone on the plane, they treated him like a hero, and he didn't find out till after that that was Luke Perry. It's you know when people pass, you hear these wonderful stories. It's uh, it's it's touching. Wrestler King Kong Bundy, who was at the height of his fame during the 80s and the 90s with the WWE, this man he was six foot four. He weighed over 450 pounds. Still, he didn't defeat uh, Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania too. Although we know these were all scripted. Still. Yes, yes indeed, history could be made here. In the nation's capital as Bundy goes back on a tree that's gotta be very painful. Using the name of Bundy, well that also landed him a role in Married with Children. Yeah, the guy, the guy was doing big things. Now he was 61 years of age at the time of his passing and at the time of this recording, they've yet to disclose what he died from. Now the WWE, they took to Twitter where they tweeted, WWE is saddened to learn that King Kong Bundy has passed away. Now in his later years, he was actually involved in a class action lawsuit where a number of former wrestlers, they saw payment for long-term neurological injuries from their time working for the WWE. Sadly, the case was dismissed. Now my mother, she's like this huge fan of folklore and she's always saying things happen in threes or deaths they happen in threes and uh, well March 4th was definitely one of those days we also lost Keith Flint he actually took his own life now in an interview given in 2015 to FHM magazine well his words they are pretty chilling now he described himself as a kind of court jester meets asylum escapee and he said I'm not saving up for anything I'm cashing it all now I've always had this thing inside me that when I'm done, I'll kill myself. His last post to Instagram was a photo of maggots eating rotting flesh. 
Now there was uh, some headlines reading that he was dealing with substance abuse and depression. Uh, what a fantastic career this man had. I remember uh, Invaders Must Die from 2009. That was uh, a tough time for me and that, that, that album really, uh, that actually brought some good stuff. I met like this huge director in Toronto because we bonded over our shared love of Prodigy. And then I got to go to one of their shows at Rye Fest. So I've been a longtime fan of all these, of all these gentlemen. Really sad day. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up. See you guys in the next one. Bye.